Neighbors tell me this loss hurts and they felt compelled to do something. So you can see they've placed a small memorial of flowers outside the home as they remember a kind woman who lived here. I wouldn't trade her. She was nice. That's how neighbors remember 45 year old Faith Ann Knoll, a woman they described as the perfect neighbor, a good person and pleasant. There wasn't a day gone by that she wasn't involved with her children. Um, even her grandchildren she recently had, she'd be walking her children to the bus stop and she'd have her grandchildren with her and she'd stop in on my porch and talk to me for a while. Art Post had known Noel for nearly 20 years and had talked with her just hours before the fire. He was home when it broke out on Thursday, even rushed over to try to save her and her 11 year old son, Nate. But thick smoke and toxic fumes kept him and another neighbor out. Firefighters eventually pulled the pair from the home and performed CPR on both before rushing them to hospitals. Faith fought for days, but died Sunday at UPMC Mercy. It's just going to be a real loss for, you know, this little area we have here of someone that stayed to themselves, took care of her children wonderfully, and um, being gone at such a young age. The community now rallying behind this family from this memorial to a GoFundMe account to support for Nate calling this entire situation a tragedy. These things shouldn't happen. It's just a shame, um, especially when someone stays to himself, takes care and loves their children. A memorial service for Faith is scheduled on Friday. Her son Nate continues to recover in the hospital. Neighbors tell us he will live with a sister once he's released. A cause of the fire remains under investigation.